Uh, welcome to a new video and we are talking about this bad boy here the Huawei Mate 40 Pro because the Huawei Mate 40 Pro got Emotion UI 12 the stable version finally and I was taking a look around at some of the new features and I want to talk a little bit about the new camera features and we want to check out if the camera has been improved with the Mate 40 Pro so let's get started So let's take a look at Emotional High 12 and the camera application. So let's start it. And what we can see directly when I turn it around, yes, it's the new UI. So we have the uh, zoom sliders here on the side. You can see for five times zoom, for 10 times zoom, or for wide zoom. So I can basically control stuff here with my right thumb, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I can switch between the different mode, modes and do all my settings here with this, which is cool. So first things first, uh, under more, we have now story creator, we have dual view, we have time lapse still, and we have all the other features as well. So this is not new, but dual view is new. So this allows me to see myself. You can see I'm filming here with the Nova 9 right now. And uh, yeah, these are the options. I can record in this mode here, only 1080p of course, and the story creator. That gives me some stories here that I can click through, what I can do. Uh, don't show it too long. Stickers, is anything new here? I don't think so. And yeah, the rest I think is known. There's time lapse still, which I think has a little bit of different UI. So we have now here the auto mode, or we can change stuff according, like I want to change the time, how long I will uh, record 50 minutes 30 minutes and so on so this has been changed and there's a pro mode as well i think that was there before and uh, you can not only go into time lapse mode for the normal camera and the various different camera lenses as you can see here 5.5 10 times but also the selfie cam so if i flip around you can see me recording here so i can also do a time lapse now for myself which is i think new the rest i think is almost the same i didn't see much of a difference here if you find something different which is very interesting just tell me what we want to try out now is go into video mode i will go into selfie mode and i will record myself to see if stabilization has been improved on the mate 40 pro this is now the front cam 1080p 60 frames per seconds on the Mate 40 Pro and after the update I noticed a much better stabilization on the front cam in its default 0.8 times magnification. As you can see here when I'm walking around for vlogging I think it's a pretty good device. Granted it's a bit dark right now so you might see a bit of grain here I've just turned on the light. And if I go to the super wide angle, you can see it's still sadly a bit wobbly here and there. The same issue with the P50 Pro's uh, front facing camera and super wide angle mode. But you can also go to one times and this is a little bit further away than on the P50 Pro and you get still a good vlogging and stabilization device, I would say. So yeah, what do you think about this? I think 0.8 times might be a little bit better for vlogging and uh, the only thing that really misses it to be like a real flagship killer front facing camera would be autofocus just like on the p50 pro so if i have something here you can see it probably adjusts everything besides focus so it's not focusing sadly otherwise i would really really like to use this as well um, it would have the technology even with 3d face scan to even better focus on stuff but yeah, sadly, this is not <laughs> enabled here on this uh, device. Otherwise, you can record up to 4K 60 frames per second, though. I noticed 4K 60 frames per second is a bit choppy here and there, especially in this low light situation. 4K 30 is working fine, no problems or issues at all. 4K 60 on the front is a little bit choppy here and there. So this is why I'm recording 1080p 60, but also because I have a 1080p 60 timeline. So let's check out the back cams and see how good they are if they improved in any way this is now the back cam the cine camera on the mate 40 pro so the ultra wide angle basically on this device and it has a very large sensor has a very good auto focusing system and in general it's very good for vlogging for these kinds of situations where you can vlog 
Um, what about the stabilization? 1080p 60 frames per second was okay before. I think they tweaked a little bit the colors here and there, so it is a bit more improved ROIB sensor, but a bit more improved, less this yellowish kind of tone. But what do you think about this one here? Uh, we have like a white background here. The color of the light is more white than yellowish, but there's a bit of yellowish, of course. I can even adjust the color a little bit if I want to. So this would be completely white now. And yeah, is it now white enough? And now a little bit yellow. This is now a bit yellow. Uh, more white, more yellow. I think this is nice and fine. So this is the um, ultra wide angle on the Mate 40 Pro, but I can also switch to the uh, zoom lens. There we go. There we go. I really missed the option to directly go to the zoom lens. No, no, I am on the zoom lens. So we only have the slider there. It would be cool if I have like also direct option to switch to the lens like it was before, I think on the P30 when it first came out. So this is now the main camera sensor, the biggest one, IMX 700 sensor, uh, 50 megapixels, uh, 1 over 1.2 free, I think, out of 2, 6 inch size sensor, very large sensor, also RYYB and uh, definitely also one of the best sensors. Did they tweak a little bit in terms of white balance? So let's make it white again. So this is completely white. The background should be now completely white. Uh, now I make it a little bit more yellow. Now it's more yellowish here. Uh, now it's more white again, a mixture of white and yellow, but more white, definitely. So uh, did they tweak this? What do you think about stabilization? 1080p, 60 frames per second. And uh, yeah, um, write it down in the comment section. This is everything for this short little video. Just a short reminder, just check out if you got an update, Emotion i 12. Uh, on your Mate 40 Pro, on your P40, P40 Pro, or even P30, I'm not sure P30 is out yet. Just check out the camera for new features, check out the camera if they updated eventually the software here and there, tweaked the colors a bit, or made new features available, uh, like the better stabilization for front-facing video, in my case, on the Mate 40 Pro. What do you think about this? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.